boy oh boy <laughs> goes they come assist they come Things they come, go ball they come. Rice they come. Rice with rice, stew rice, and lavia on the side. Hey. And the little miss or timber. Hey, food. I won't lie. Generate. We should sprinkle a bit of the yeah, 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 on that yeah, yeah. and we have sorted. You know, we're signing players from our rivals. We're building a good team. And it's a young team. It's a team that can still learn and improve. Bro, we've signed players from Chelsea before, bro. Fuck well, if we sign Declan Rice, that's the manager convincing a player, I've got a team now said it's capable of better. challenging, right? No. You've got to give the manager his fucking props. I, I, What's I, wrong with you, man? Of course we do. Wow. So his preference was sorry, always to stay I'm, in London. I'm Manchester followers, sorry about that one. But man, they don't have fans, man. Fuck Man City. Rice is done. Edu, they toast with his family. They're real they, they, they drink. They do yeah, real, yeah, real yeah. ascots. It's chilling, bro. It's chilling because he already knows. Oh, this one is speculation. It's done. The player wants it. The team wants it. We're having it. We're making it happen, bro. He's staying in London. You get me? <laughs> oh, yeah, now, my people, my people. We are here. Tunnel TV settings. Don't forget to smash the like, subscribe, hit that notification button. And we've got transfers to discuss because us no fans... They're going mad. But it's not just me. Alongside me, you can see my illustrious panel. Yes. To the left of me. I'm a masquerade right now. <laughs> but it is I. Can it be? AKA Mr. Gopo. Gopo. Gop. And I am boiling rice. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's Joshua. And, like and Joshua Lagwadi. Joshua, Joshua, Joshua Lagwadi, like yeah, yeah. And, and of course. To form corporate guy. Uh, uh, why? Now? I'm a corporate guy. Because then we're not used to having like him around. Rice. And of course, it's me, the night. That dickhead sure. underhand comment was unnecessary. <laughs> it was needed. And <laughs> of course, like wait. Rice. And of course, it's me, the Nigerian English fan. Yes. Here, when I see my face. Guys, be like the rice. Be like the rice. Hey, we're getting Declan Rice. Look, Arsenal fans, I've, I've heard you. Don't go and say it now, GC. You've been, you've been, you've been attacking, down. you've been attacking, you've been attacking, you've been attacking our man oh, Eddie, and he's doing his job right now. Look, I'm not gonna get into, and we're bro, gonna bro, get into. Bro, bro, you didn't do a proper intro. What do you mean? You didn't do a proper intro. You didn't introduce the show properly. You didn't say, "Oh yeah, now my people, my people, it's your guy, the Nigerian Englishman, with your boy, can it be, aka Mister Gobo, Gobo, and with my boy Shosi. Today we are talking about Declan Rice. There you go. There you go, man. He just did it there. So yeah, what he said, didn't it? Can yeah. It be? My thoughts on Declan Rice. What's your thoughts on Declan Rice? Man, I'm tired of the back and forth. I'm What's tired your of the... on Declan Rice? I'm tired of the back and forth. I'm tired of the Man City ones are interested. They have not been there. Dimazio! Dimazio! If you catch him, Abby. If I catch you... Ah, problem. If I catch you, Dimazio, I will hold you by your two legs and I will do you like Declan Rice. <laughs> I will boy you I, I like Declan Rice. But we are not violent yet. But at the end of the day, we need to get the deal done. Hundred mil. Look, is the money available? But Shola, yeah, is listen, the money Shola, Shola, do, yeah. do you think we're getting the deal done? I think we'll get the deal done. Listen, I think player preference is always important in these kind of deals, right? Um, and I'm quite, I'm quite shocked. Not why they, they do Barry White voice. Hey. I don't understand. Mm. Because anyway, so. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> listen, player preference is always important in these kind of deals. Um, and for a player to pick Arsenal over City, you can tell that Arsenal have sort of had a have a had some sort of shift in public perception, mm. especially football players. Mm. People won't come ask now, nah, mm. Baba. Do you understand? Mm. Gabby Jesus. Yes. Chelsea. Yes. Piece of shit. Like I'm, I'm, going, I'm, yeah, I'm going to the Arsenal. Do you yes. know what I mean? Zinchenko. Like, yes. I'm going to Arsenal. Do you yes. know what I mean? So I think it's important that this boy wants to come to Arsenal. Yes. Massive. Massive for us. Because again, yes. the FCT came calling, he would just say yes. Juicy. Because look what happened to Calvin Phillips as well. Juicy. Because he wants to go and become a Calvin Phillips. He doesn't. But you know, Declan Rice, he rates himself, bro. rates himself higher than Calvin Phillips does. So he might think, I can go please, to City, please, 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 guarantee please, please. myself titles, all these things. And 
Like that, that that could happen. That's what the Arsenal fans on social no. media are going crazy about Damn right Phillips. now. That's why they're going crazy. Damn so, Phillips is a paralyzed. So 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 wow. Nigerian English. So let me let, let me tell he you what. Doesn't play football. He's there to eat medals. Can we? Me, I'm just play? playing devil's advocate too. Because no, me, let, I don't believe let me, by myself. Hang on, let me let me let me let me tell you. Play, let me what t- if that's how he's Let me tell you what's been pivotal for Arsenal all through this. This man is a young is a young father, right? I think his his family is settled in London, and I think. Who the fuck wants to go to Manchester, yo? Wow. When you can go to New Bond Street and then and then places, fucking wow. Gucci or them wow. thing. You want to go to Manchester? Why would you want to go to Manchester? Wow. It's pissing down with rain half the time. Wow. So his preference was sorry, always to stay I'm in London. Manchester followers, sorry about that one. But man, they don't have fans, man. Fuck Man City. That's what I'm going to say straight up. I mean, I saw they are, they had to even pay fans to even come and support them. Please, Man City. But let me put a question to both of you, right? In terms of. <laughs> the quantum of the transfer fee. Yeah. Are you guys like, who gives a fuck? It's not my money. Please. Or or it's too much. You see, my problem is this English, so-called English tax. For me, the Ken Rice is not worth more than 50 million pounds. Right. He has not seen Champions League football yeah. in his life. Right. He went to World Cup. He just managed to pass any Facts. Time. They beat him. But because the Premier League is a mad league, a league with mad people, a league whereby Someone like Palinia that played one season is 90 million. million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 90 million though. 90, yeah. Caicedo is 120 million. A, pers- a footballer they bought for 4.3. It tells you a lot about the Premier League. The so-called British tax. Would you would you call it Premier League or just football in general worldwide? Because hey, Madrid nah, about to smash. Rubbish. It's, yeah, it's Premier League. What about, the the Sa- League what about Saudi? Madness. What about Saudi Arabian League? Saudi Arabia, they have cash. And who are they going for? They are going for players that are old. It's easy to get them. Have you heard it's- about Mbappe to Madrid for that amount of money? It's Kylian Mbappe. That's Mbappe, bro. bro. Come it's on. These, are, these are, Okay, look, hold on. There's certain times where the transfer fee, you understand there's exceptions like a Kylian Mbappe, for example. And if Haaland went for more money than he did, it would not it wouldn't have been surprising. They just found a loophole with the the what's it called, the asking price or the yeah, clause yeah. in the contract or whatever. But I'm not happy about the price. Let me not lie to you. Yeah. And you can clearly see from the tactics in the in the media right now. West Ham are playing the media. Oh, of course. Can I be said so that from day they, one? They, yeah. what, so why I'm saying Arsenal fans, just relax. Sorry. Calm down. Calm down. Cool Calm down. Deba. Calm okay. down. Cool because, your body. because at the end of the day, it's going down. all West Ham are trying to ca- guarantee nice. is that we pay the 100 million somehow, somewhere. For that's your, all they For can. their best asset. Yeah, exactly. that's what they're trying to do. Yeah. So I don't agree with it, but that happens to be the rate that these type of players are going for in this current market. And Marketing wise, etc., I'm sure it'll pay back dividends in some way. Question for Kanebi. Question for Kanebi. Listen, let's talk about the football aspect of this transfer mm. and what this 24 year old can bring to, to Arsenal. Mm. Do you think this is a statement of intent yeah, right. from Arsenal? You know, shooing off big clubs who wanted them. I hate buying one of them, but they were never really in the race. I Man United, Man City. What I don't, are your I don't look at it as a statement of intent. I look at it as us recruiting a player that wants to. No, it. hang on. Let me, let, me, let me put another spin on it. Arsenal. Put out there that this was your primary transfer target, right? About his own media hype. Forget all this media hype. See, let me. He's the number one target. It's as simple as that. He's the number one target. He's our number one. He's the number one target. I agree. But you see, at the end of the day, the media they feed into these things because they want their likes, they want their traffic. No, can I talk about the no, football player himself? Yeah, yes, what does he bring saying, to Arsenal? What I'm saying, what he brings to Arsenal is probably leadership, um, good on the ball, maybe a little bit of grit especially away from home, you know. And from what I've seen at West Ham, he's a player that he doesn't get injured. I heard he's only been injured like three times yeah, he's in durable, like very durable, three yeah. seasons. He has, oh, he hasn't been injured at all in three yeah. seasons. And that's very good for us because Arsenal is a team that we know that we have plenty injuries. So yeah. we need to curb that mm. out. So for me, I availability see Availability is the best ability. Availability. Yeah, and he's very good technically with both feet from what I've seen in his highlights. But at the end of the day, we need somebody to come and replace Granit Xhaka. And if Shaka is the CK gem, so they say. Stop this so they say, I think Declan Rice would actually very be a very good fit at Arsenal. No, yeah. for sure, for sure. And and one thing I've I've always said about Declan Rice is around better players, a better manager, like with more tactical manager, mm. he he should be able to flourish. And when I've seen him drive forward, when he decides he's to do He's a good it, ball carrier. He doesn't lose the ball. Yo, some when stats, he decides to do it, he doesn't lose the ball. Yeah, some stats for you. Most... Um, most interceptions in the Premier League last season. Mm-hmm. Most Ooh, pos- I thought it was Paulinha. No, most possessions won as well. And he's top three in ball carrying. See. But then he's playing for a shit team. 
Sorry to West Ham. Okay, so. a, a round a, a great team like yeah. Arsenal, progressive team like Arsenal, a young team. I think I think he could really flourish in this team. Mm. But I do also think it will be a mistake for us to lose both Xhaka and Partey this summer. I agree yeah, I agree with you on That's that. Yeah. And and for me, it reminds me of how we dismantled the Invincibles teams very fast. Too quickly. Because we, we became the Invincibles and we dismantled everybody, Sharp Shaka and we became crap. We started playing Diaby, Flamini, the RVP. Good, yeah. yeah, but he was young then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. Was he, did he come and turn to Ronaldinho? Yeah, he, he was good though. So why nah, you injury! So why injury you the head team! Shut up! Famicha is shit. So like, no. I said, so like I was saying, yeah. <laughs> why are you looking at yeah. me like that, bro? Famicha is shit, fam. So like I was saying. What are you talking about? So like I was saying, when we had all those young players, now we have to keep this young this this midfield together. Is it that we lose one? We cannot lose two of them together. Apparently, I saw a report that Party wants to play with Arsenal in the Champions League. He's fought so hard to make it to the Champions League with Arsenal, and he wants to play with Arsenal in the Champions League. And for me, he's a very good player. He's a leader, and he's technically good. My problem is that fitness. That is all. That is my issue with Party. If Party can stay fit, we have Declan Rice. Hopefully, if the reports are true. Add uh, uh, Romeo Lavia, you can have a very good midfield. Yeah, that, that that's another transfer that I like. That La- Lavia, I he's, think a, that, he's an up and coming prospect, and yeah. he could fit in, and it could be a big year for him as well. I like Timber. I want to get Timber. Timber. Yes. I think that, yeah, that's the signing I'm looking forward to. If it does, if it does happen, I've always liked Timber. You know, where yeah. where do you think he's gonna be playing more? Honestly, right I back. can see him as a right, right back. back. Yeah, oh, inverted right. right back. But I can see him in that DM position. Honestly, but he's yeah. a good ball carrier. Yeah, he's a good I've player. Heard, but, but 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 you see, for Holland and for Ajax, for Ajax he plays right back. But for Holland, he plays in that back three okay. with um with um Ake, Van Dijk yeah. and him. Yeah. So I think he's a very versatile player in the defensive units. And Arteta likes that. And I think Arteta might transition from a, a typical 4-3-3 to maybe yeah. a 3-5-2. Arteta likes versatile that. players. Yeah. I, I, I won't lie. I've not, I've not seen a lot of him. But he's a good player. I've, I've heard that he's definitely better than Rob Holding. Mm, of course. So, so, come on, what kind of fucking of comparison is that, yo? <laughs> no, because that's what we've had. That's who he's coming in to replace. I'm assuming I'm assuming we're going to get rid of yeah. Rob Holding this summer. Yeah. And he's going to come in as the new utility. Listen, man. I want to I pivot to something that, that's probably the biggest news of the fucking transfer window for Arsenal. Saliba signing a contract is big. It's not the biggest news, but yeah. It's it massive. is the biggest news. It's, 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 it's the biggest news. Sal- see, when did come Saka and Cole. When did come out to Saliba signed... Sign. Saliba. Saliba That's your biggest signing, signing for us Break is our biggest signing Break this summer. Break 200 k let him collect it. He deserves it. Let him buy that Rolls Royce. Let him buy that Maybach. Chilling in the top of the world. Burj Khalifa coming through next season. Sliding through like Nessar Desai. <laughs> Bolini. Bolini. Moving like Paolo Maldini. Dini. Yeah. yeah. Costa Cota. Hey! <laughs> Costa Cota. Ah, Costa hey. Cota. Hey! Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, but it's big. Like, let's not let's not get it twisted. Those those uh contract renewals are massive. Saka, Martinelli, um, Saliba, Odegaard seems to be on the way. Ramsdale's on but the way. We're, yeah. we're locking up people yeah, right now, yeah. and that's why we're, we're at a crossroads with the party thing. We're not letting players run down to two years left yeah, on their yeah. contract. We because said we weren't going to do that. He seems like someone that will go for free after two years. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So I understand it that wa- that wise, but if we let go of Partey, Xhaka has to stay. Mm. That's just how it has to go because we need the experience going into the Champions League. Okay, all, all things being equal and, you know, if we get Rice over the line. Mm-hmm. But but let me let me put another scenario to Kai Havis. Kai Havis. Let me put another scenario. Isiki Jema. Yes. Let me put another scenario to you. You don't get rice. What do you, what alternatives do you think that Arsenal have? Caicedo looks to be over the line with Chelsea, almost, I guess. So, what are the big odds? It'll be a massive loss and a massive indictment on the Arsenal board not getting declaration. To be honest, him. bro, it's something that I'm not thinking about because I think it's done. Okay. Rice is done. Edu de toast with his family. They drink. They do They drink. They do, yeah, they do yeah, yeah. Ascot. It's chilling, bro. He's chilling because he already knows. All oh, this one is speculation. It's done. The player wants it. The team wants it. We're having it. We're making it happen, bro. He's staying in London. You get me? One time. Yeah. Any final thoughts, Gary? 
Well, sit back, enjoy the show. See, Arsenal fans are having a <laughs> meltdown. When last did you put spend or be this kind of money for, million for this kind of player, player. exactly we finished, player. We've never second, done that. we finished second last season we're signing players from our rivals we signed Whoa. players from man city last season now we signed a player from chelsea you know we're signing players from our rivals we're building a good team and it's a young team it's a team that can still learn and improve bro, we've signed players from chelsea before bro Fuck off. Don't, don't say it what? like it's a positive. Yeah, bro. tell them to fuck off again. Face for me, no listen to you. What? Fuck. Can you have, uh, have, we can had, have we had a positive it. signing from Chelsea? You know what? Yeah. Turn on TV. Uh-huh. Turn on TV. Next season, I can't wait. Let's talk about the manager. For Kai Havertz to prove Kuli Fakayero. Look, look, do you know what? Do you know what? Wait, hold on. on, the, wait. on, on and I'm going to remind oh, Wait, hold on. On the Kai Havertz thing, I'm not going to lie, right? This is what I was saying. I can't come on here and say Kai Havertz is going to be a hit at Arsenal when I've been abusing the guy all season. Yeah. It just doesn't add up. We all and have. you've been abusing him too. We all have. So yes. you, what, 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 it, it, does, it doesn't matter. But I have to support but, my but own. Look, 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 this is what I'll say. He he has got potential, and he it's not like he's a he's a terrible footballer. He obviously the reason why Chelsea spent that money on him in the first place yeah. is because he, he has talent. Yeah. Can we unlock it? What position do you want him to play? If it's in that Xhaka role, I can't see him being strong enough to handle mm, that. Mm. But I want to... Tr- um, it's hard for me to trust Arteta on it until I see it. I need to see it. I can't just assume. Listen, and no one can explain it to me. I need to see it. Let's talk about So that. let's give him time. Let's talk about the manager. It's testament Ten to the manager. Game, that, it's game. testament to the manager that we're getting players in that ordinarily... Five years ago, we wouldn't have even think about considering. Like who? Really. Bro. Listen, who we they Gab- get to? Who we sign, bro? Gabby Z- Jesus and, Z- and Zinchenko, Zinchenko were all the manager. When, if we sign Declan Rice, that's the manager convincing a player, I've got a team now said capable that's of that's challenging, that's right? That's You've got to give the manager his fucking props. I, I, What's wrong with you, man? Of course we do. Pick up Arteta. Arteta's my man now. Chill now. Uh, now Relax. Said, when, do nah. I, when has he not been my... I've been Arteta in since. They said Let's not do that. Well, that's Arteta. Not, no, no, I'm, you. Just saying, I'm just saying... Now you, they to... call for his head. No, it's it down, down to Arteta. 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 All right, let's wrap this up. Let's wrap this up. Make Arteta. He knows exactly what we need. Okay, the the back. Man, be carrying the Gabby in the back. Gabby there. Arsenal on the way to Champions League. Hey, 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 hey we there, we there, we did. Hey. So let me tell you, mate. I want to say this, mate. Kai Havertz is going to prove a lot of people wrong. Because why? Do you hear my British accent? Why? When I talk in my British accent, it yeah. means I'm serious. Okay. So Kai Havertz is going to prove a lot of people wrong. Now, let me speak in my and Nigerian accent. Mm-hmm. Boy oh boy, <laughs> goals they come, assists they come, things they come, go ball they come, rice they come, rice with rice, stew, rice, and lavia on the side, hey. and a little miss sortimba. Hey, I won't lie. Like, we should sprinkle a bit of yeah, diaby yeah, on yeah, that, yeah. and we have sorted. That is an A diaby plus. Diaby, the winger. Oh, no, nah, fuck uh-huh. that. I, I, I bring him nah, in. Man, nah, bring nah, him nah. in, back nah, up nah. for Saka. Nah, it's not better than Nelson. Then we Yeah, let's lock right, it. Let's lock it off. Let's lock it off. Let's lock it off on that yeah, point, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget to smash the like button. Yes. Comment, subscribe. Yes. Hit the notification. Yes. Channel TV. Yes. We're out. Let's yes. go. Yes.